Nearly 140,000 people from across the United States have recovered from coronavirus. And in North Carolina, so has a pug. He wasn't eating his meals and then also uh, he coughed, which was very strange. But so my dad was like, wow, he might have coronavirus, which is like as a joke because no one thought that, you know, dogs could get coronavirus. But the CDC is just now saying that in very rare cases, dogs are catching the virus from humans. Winston the pug and Cindy McLean live in Chapel Hill. Their entire family tested positive for COVID-19. So they and their pets all enrolled in a Duke University study. Every week they come, um, they take your blood, they like do your swabs. They're like, well, let's just test the dogs and cats because my entire house has been infected by coronavirus. Both of McLean's parents are physicians and they believe their dad brought home the virus in early March from the emergency room where he works. If you get sick, veterinarians say you should treat your pets the same way you treat other humans. No close contact. Uh, make sure you're using good hygiene. Washing your hands is really important. Um, so if there's someone in your house that has that problem, then they should probably be sequestered away from the pet or the pet sequestered away from them. Because the entire McLean family contracted the virus, keeping the pets away was not an option. <laughs> but Winston and the rest of the McLeans made a full recovery. It was very nerve wracking. So it's always important to keep your family close and um, value the life that you've been given. The CDC and local veterinarians both emphasize that there is a very slight risk of household pets passing coronavirus to humans. There are no documented cases of that occurring. So unless you're sick, you can stay cuddled up with your pets while we're all stuck at home. In Chapel Hill, I'm Peyton Tysinger.